Hi guys, good morning. So I am getting ready for a beauty event, which I love. Laura Mercier invited me to their second annual like event and they have it at this really beautiful house, which honestly the house doesn't look like much from the outside, but on the inside it's gorgeous. I'm super excited to go and I went last year or the year before, I think it was last year, and I really enjoyed it. I feel like it's always funny because you'll meet people at events and take photos and stuff but then we'll say like oh let's exchange social media and stuff and then nobody ever talks to anyone afterwards <laughs> and that's what happened last time i met this girl i think her, her name was renee and another girl i don't remember her name but we all were like oh yeah let's hang out blah, 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 whatever no no nobody ever <laughs> nobody ever does so i think it's super funny i don't know what i'm gonna wear yet i actually wanted to wear the outfit they're the top that i wore to in my last get ready with me but i don't have like shoes for it which i need to order today i'm gonna order it today on yes style because i'm my mom had those my mom asked to borrow them for me and she brought them like literally in february and it's april and i still haven't gotten them um but i think she's gonna come on friday down the hill oh my god my necklaces are driving me crazy i just added this one again and i forgot how much i love it it's a like a clover i guess you can say and like a four leaf clover and it's all in diamonds so it has four 20 diamonds in it and it's just so pretty to layer with my van cleave because like it's the same shape so it kind of goes together but i still want the messica 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 necklace the regular move not the baby move because they have a they have a move size which is their original size and then they have baby move which is a smaller version but the smaller version won't look good with my stack because it'll be like maybe this wide and the regular original move which is the one that i tried on with my stack that's the one that's more ideal and the reason why i wanted that one is because it's all solid gold i think i am gonna have it made with a jeweler not my personal jeweler but a different one because one of my friends introduced me to hers so i'm gonna try out um i'm gonna try them out and again all of the same materials like it's gonna be a hundred percent 18k gold so there's no so there's no surprise or anything um i am gonna be i'm usually always really happy with the results and so i'm gonna try them out and see how i like them their prices are pretty on par to like the gold weight so it's not whether or not you get a piece inspired by a whether or not you get a piece inspired by a designer piece so you have prices for those and then some uh some jewelers will only charge the weight of the actual piece which i think is really nice because they charge you exactly what the gold weighs and that's what my friend's jeweler does and so she was like oh just try them out see if you like them if not, obviously get a smaller piece for now and then get something bigger. So I think I'm going to order a smaller piece and then if I like it, well, for me, it's not whether or not I order a smaller piece. It's just a piece that's like the cheapest that I can test their quality in the gold. So that way I'm not losing out on a lot if I decide I don't like it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this a little quicker than usual. And you guys can see my little mini Lady Dior. Yes, I am going to wear her. Well, I don't know. We'll see because I don't know. I want to, but I don't know if uh, my outfit's gonna go with it, so hopefully it does. I don't know what top, if I have to wear a white top. I don't really have white tops right now. I need to go shopping. Like, what was I wearing all these years? Okay, so bronzer. I've been filming for eight minutes. I'm just not going as fast as I was going yesterday because I kind of need my, they take photos at the event, so I need my makeup to look good. Okay, I don't know where the top for that is. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier's blush in, oops. I'm using Laura Mercier's blush in Coastline. This is the shade that I love using. It's a more muted, if you look at it in stores, it does not look pretty. I'm just gonna say that, but I have been using this for, since they launched actually, actually. I've been using this since they launched and I really, really love it. Like it's seriously one of my favorite products ever so creamy it blends in really nicely sorry i think my light is too bright i think that's a little better i have a headache like i drank too much last night and in the moment i can handle my liquor and everything like i'm totally fine it's just the next morning i feel like death because i don't get like drunk drunk to where i'm like falling off and stuff i think that's so 
trashy <laughs> but i i do like i am able to handle i am able to handle my alcohol but it's just i pay the price the next morning under eye then i'm gonna use laura mercy's powder i actually really like their i really like their tinted moisturizer and i was gonna use that right now but i ended up just like reaching for my shantikai but i didn't mean to use that yeah, I think on Thursday we're going to Ch well tomorrow <laughs> we're going to Chateau Marmont to have some drinks there and hang out with some friends. So I'm really excited. I feel like I haven't been able to like do this in a while because I had class and everything and it was just crazy. But I'm very much so looking forward to it. That's tomorrow though, and I have not made dinner plans, so we'll do something else for dinner and then head there after. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury blush. It looks good today, actually. But I have to like swirl it and apply it. A, there's a very specific way that I have to apply this. So it's looking good right now. But beforehand, it was not working with me. You guys, I'm so obsessed with hourglass packaging because... Okay, stop hiding from me. Because look at how like sleek and just nice. Like I love like really nice and shiny, sleek packaging. I hate closest packaging. Like the whole like super... Uh, colorful and everything it, it just bothers me because I just don't like the way it looks it looks really like juvenile that's why when I first saw the brand I wasn't attracted to it because I was like oh is it makeup for like teenagers or something that's like initially what I thought yeah definitely did not like the packaging for that I'm actually more nervous about my outfit because like what the hell am I gonna wear and there's gonna be traffic on my way back probably I'll try to go really quickly I'm gonna do oh do, do, like if you guys have your cats right do you have your cats on a timer for like food and do they just walk back and forth waiting for their food to come out like most of the day Luna was obviously not on a timer for food when she was younger okay I'm just doing everything out of order because I don't know why I'm freaking out now I actually like I really do like this Laura Mercier uh, crayon but from the side it can look like a little darker than what it actually is so just be careful when you're using it and maybe not put too much in a tight line just a little bit okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair i kind of like wanted to just have it up because oh my god i feel so nauseous right now i kind of wanted to just have it up because i honestly like really don't care right now but i wanted it in like a messy a messy way but i just don't know i don't know how to style it myself i'm gonna add some olaplex oil i always see people like will apply this on their hair before they curl it and then you'll see someone in the comments oh my god don't put oil before you curl your hair curl your hair but on olaplex's on the, the product it says that it's a heat protectant and you're supposed to put it before you style your hair so i always get really confused whenever i see those comments anyway i really like don't want to do my hair though something like does not look right right now I think I'm gonna wear, oh, let me put on a different top actually. I changed into this top. I feel like it's a little small for me because the, top, the like this part keeps going up and I think the cowl neck is like too much fabric. So I think I'm gonna have to safety pin it up here. You can't really tell that it's literally going crazy. But I love the back, the back is like this and then it ties, let me see if I can check this. My, oh my God, everything is so messy, but it ties like that, so it's super cute. But I am gonna have my jacket over so it's not like it really matters. Why do I put myself through this? I already knew that I had this event to go to and then literally everyone was just drinking so much. So I really like this curling iron. It's meant to like um, be looser curls, which is nice, but sometimes I want it like more curly, but it curls like, super fast. I look so mean right now. I don't mean to, I'm sorry. Okay, this will literally have to work because I have nothing else to work with. I'm gonna take you guys off of the tripod now. I'm also washing my curtain, my shower curtain. If you guys have not washed your shower curtain, do it now. I finally got it situated. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing my bow. 
The top is actually a Skims, I don't know, their fitted shirt. I don't remember what line it's from. And then my jacket from Yes Style, my pants, my shorts, and then these shoes. I really just had to figure out like what shoes to wear because you guys know I would usually wear my white ones that I wear all the time and I'm going to order them as soon as I come back home. But yeah, that's the plan. And then it is one of the... Uh, social media manager's birthday or her birthday just passed so I'm gonna give her a bottle of Vuv and then also stop by Chanel Beauty to grab something for her. I'm just gonna get her like a, a hand cream, a Chanel hand cream. So hopefully she'll like that and yeah she's always super sweet um, and is very prompt with emails and everything so I really appreciate it so I thought I would just pick that up for her so let's go ahead and head out now. You guys, this house is humongous. Hi. Hi. It's for, for Jenny. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. I hope you like it. It's like just. I'm sure. And the champagne, you know, made yeah. my heart. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can sing. I have been dying for oh, this. Oh, really? It's like the chicest lotion ever. Oh, yeah, ever. it's so cute. Are you I've been kidding? using this one in the L'Occitane, but I was like, this one's way better. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Anyway, oh, you just... We just launched this new foundation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're so... I'm so happy. so nice. Thank you. Of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we have launched this new foundation. It's real okay. flawless, weightless, perfecting foundation. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. it, the, for me, the difference is how it feels. Um, it's super hydrating. It's really buildable. Okay. Um, we'll get you shade matched, and then okay. actually here we can get you shade matched here. Oh, okay. I don't know what shade I am. Hi guys, I just got back from the event and I'm exhausted. I was waiting for Ali to take a picture with her and she like had went around the house. So I was waiting there for like 10 minutes and my Uber was coming and I was like super nervous because the driver was really impatient, which I get it, I get it. Like if you set a time to get picked up, like be there. It was a good time. I always love Laura Mercier and their team. They always hook it up with so many great goodies and like so many fun. Like their Mercier Maison is like always so fun to go to. So you now they also put this lip color on me, which I really loved. I'm gonna make some rice to go with my steak bowl. So I had to make, um, I made the steak yesterday. So I'm just gonna make some rice right now. Luna, Luna, please get off. Luna, get down. Come on, get up. I'm gonna put just a little bit of the rice itself and then um, I'm also using some konjac, konjac jelly for the rice. Oh, sorry guys, my, place, my apartment is so messy right now. I just cannot deal with it. I'll do like two spoons. So that is made. I remember I did say that I wanted to go out to lunch, but honestly, I was exhausted. I had been there for, I was at the event for like 
two hours or like an hour and a half so it was kind of long um i do have a pistachio croissant though that i'm gonna have because i'm actually so hungry right now and then they also gave out some green juices so i'm gonna finish this one off and they had someone there doing calligraphy which was also really nice so let me show you guys what they gifted us i thought that was like really nice because i just love personalized things i have to clean all of this like right now right after i've been talking to you guys i wasn't originally using my strap for my dior uh for my lady dior so i just had it so all of my packaging stuff is like everywhere okay so how cute is this bag it says Laura Mercier there. I could like fit skincare and toiletries in here, which is really nice. And then also my friend Ali said that she actually uses this for her Dyson stuff. So I was like, oh my goodness, that's actually so smart or like hair care stuff. So I kind of been wanting to get the Dyson. But the thing is like if I, what would you guys do? If I get my Goyard next month, then I won't be able to get the Dyson because I feel like that's a lot. And then I'd have to like allocate a bunch. Um, well, actually I could probably get it this sale i'm so torn like i don't know if i should get my goyard next month or if i should get a dyson because they came out with the new version and i like really want to try it out so i'm kind of like just torn between the two i also have to study tomorrow during the day so this is the oh this is the honey one which is not um that one's not inscribed with my stuff on it with my initials um but then this one they put a j on it which is so cute put a j and then i'm pretty sure oh they have a mascara so it also says jenny there which is really cool and then came out with the brush and the brush should have my name on it as well we don't know so it says it's oh it says it there which is really cool okay so this is a translucent powder oh this one's pretty i'm gonna try this out and see how it is this one does not have name on it i think it was just the brush and the powder and then also i've been wanting to try this blur one so imani i think she said that she tried this out and she likes it but i love the original formula as well so pretty this is my favorite packaging i love like matte with like pinky anything you guys know i'm so obsessed with pink so i got that one yeah and then the honey one i just asked ali to get it because i wanted to try it out again i haven't tried this one in a while so just pick that up so that's everything i'm gonna watch flower of evil and eat my pistachio croissant um i do have to clean up a little bit but i need fuel first i need to fuel myself first so yeah and then my outfit i didn't really like this i didn't like this particular top with my jacket but i don't know it was like whatever i didn't like my outfit but it's okay bye this is my late lunch slash early dinner i don't know if i'm gonna have anything to eat after this but i feel like i should because this is not enough food for just one day but this looks delicious i made this yesterday with just beef and some bell pepper seasoned it with onions that's it hi guys good morning i'm gonna start off strong with legree i have not been to legree for a while actually and i was getting a little concerned because it's one of my favorite workouts and i was just not interested in doing any workouts no bunda no legree and i was just doing 12 3 30 on the treadmill and then also daisy keach's ab workout so those are really just getting me by and i do really like those and i do see a difference in my abs when i do daisy's workouts so i think just to see fast results that's something that satisfied me with legree you do have to be consistent and go all the time and because it's may literally may next month i started freaking out and i was like okay i really have to get back into my workouts that's exactly what we're gonna do today my outfit is going to be my nulu cropped this is the jacket and the material is really soft and like buttery and then i'm also going to be wearing my aligns these are just classic aligns both in black okay so as for my socks I'm sure they have prettier ones online, but I just have these basic gray ones. I like them because they cover my whole foot, especially in the back. I've seen some people wear some where their toes are exposed, and oh, that's just not for me. Put your dogs away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, especially if like they're not done. Like I'm judging. I'm judging for sure. If they're out, they're out to be judged. But I just prefer these. They're just more comfortable to me, and I don't like slip and slide around. I know that my feet are not going to budge when I'm doing lunges, especially. 
elevator lunges those are like the worst but yeah so i just use these from amazon i'll have them down below in case you guys want to know and then underneath i'm just gonna wear a a wonder bra i think from lululemon so it's gonna be my outfit ended up just putting on this victoria's secret bra it's just a little bit more comfortable it fits better around the underarm area and my wonder bras i think are they even called wonder bras i don't know oh, no they're not aligns um but they are in a size four and for the top i am a 34c for my top so those are a little bit tight for me and i don't think they're my size i don't think i'm a size four on top i'm pretty sure i'm a size six or maybe even eight I don't know depending on like how tight of the fit that I want but in order for it to fit around like my underarm area so like I don't have a lot of like bulging I think I'm a size six so I probably need to repurchase some especially my align like white top it's a size four I have a lot of size four for my top so I probably should get rid of those but they're so expensive that to like repurchase stuff anyway I'm going to zip this all the way up because I just like the look better it's gonna be a little tight um for my workout but i can still do like wheelbarrow and like soft as long as i'm, <laughs> I'm okay. trying to practice as long as i'm okay for those then i think i'll be okay and then um what else we do chest press i honestly i haven't been going also because i don't really like the instructors here at the Lagrine downtown LA. I like the instructors at the arts district better and michael's my favorite instructor for Lagree. 26 213 so it's kind of like neither here nor there like i can't i don't have a choice if i want to work out so yeah i have some packages coming in today i'm super excited for those but anyway thanks for getting ready with me did my everyday makeup it's really simple it honestly it only takes me like 10 minutes so i know it might seem like oh my god you're wearing makeup to a workout but it takes like no time at all which is really great once you have your routine down anyway let's get a bag prepared for my workout. Sorry, my bed's like so messy. I'm gonna take my Prada Nada Prada bag. Um, I need my keys. This just has Listerine. What? What's in here? I'm supposed to have a little perk even here too. Listerine, Splenda, and batteries. All the necessities for sure. Hand cream, battery pack. Honestly, I don't even need this. I'm just going down the street. And that. I wore my Lady Dior yesterday. She's so cute. I love it. I do want to wear my shoes, so just gonna put on my socks right now. Sometimes I'll change my socks to regular socks, but we're just gonna wear this for now. Oh my Apple Watch. Oh my goodness, Luna. I don't know if you guys can see, but she definitely chewed up my Apple Watch. Just the strap, which is fine, but I don't know. She really likes chewing on them. But she's she's an adult cat. She's not teething. Things very strange. My shoes are just my New Balance. Oh my god, my hair is not okay right now. Let's go ahead and head out. I'm not excited about this, but I know as soon as I'm done, I'll be happy. Hi, for Jenny. At this point, if you guys have been watching my vlogs consistently, you guys will know that I always go to Legree, but although I recommend this class a lot, I think it has a lot to do with the instructor and whether you like their music and their instructions, the way that they have you transition to different positions, and that's really important because it's really going to affect the way that you feel in the classroom if you feel like it's going too fast paced or the transitions aren't smooth enough then you will feel uncomfortable and you won't like it i know a few people that have gone the first time and they didn't like it because they were sore or something hurt and it's natural i feel like you're always going to be sore after a workout that you've never done before but the gris has mainly changed the way that my abs look i feel like now i have more stomach definition but my legs are something that I really am insecure about and my thighs. So with that, I can't really say that I've seen much of a difference. I think 12 through 30 works for that a little bit better. With that being said, I still love the workout. I feel like I have much more strength in my arms and in my abs and especially in my back. I feel like I've definitely gotten stronger and any workout that you do consistently is going to make you stronger. But Legree is definitely a workout, not for everyone, but... I love the transitions, I love how I feel after. It's a low intensity, high impact workout, so you're not going to be sweating. It's not like a 
what do you say, what do you call that? Like a, it's not like a circuit training or anything like that. It's much more calm in terms of your movements and everything, but you move really slow, so you target all of those little muscles in your body and I love it. I highly recommend it. So I'll leave my class pass link down below. You guys can sign up and get a free trial so you guys can also try out Legree and see if you like it. Hi guys, I just finished Legree. I'm gonna go meet up with my bestie for coffee because she's not working right now. So I'm really excited. Um, we haven't had like a coffee date in a while so I thought why not just go and I have some cheese made to tell her so <laughs> I told her she has to get up and we gotta go somewhere but I don't think we're gonna go far so I'll show you guys what we end up getting I'm really craving a matcha but I don't know if the place that we're gonna go to has matcha so we'll see see you guys there we came to the proper hotel because we just asked them if they had matchas and we weren't really sure like where to go or like what to do so we just came here and we got matcha and croissants the decor here is always so cute i think a lot of people really love the santa monica location and this one is also really nice if you need to be in downtown or like cape town area it's not too far from that these are our purses of the day and then their bar also looked so yum and pretty like i just love the area there so we ended up getting a croissant just to snack on and i love croissants so much but i try not to eat them a lot and then i of course eat them with the fork and a knife because what other way are you going to eat them and they were super fluffy and so delicious and it was just nice to catch up i wasn't allowed to use my camera so i went ahead and put that away and just started vlogging on my phone and these are what our matches look like we did add a stevia to make it a little sweeter Okay. I wasn't allowed to use my phone at, not my phone, but my camera at the proper, but I did use my phone for videoing. They said that that was okay, but I don't understand why there was like nobody there. I don't know. But anyway, so that was that. And we just had a little croissant and some matcha and then I came home. So that was pretty much my morning. I'm going to go ahead and clean up around the house it's because I want the area to be clean, obviously. And then I want to clean up my makeup bag just to organize like makeup that I wear every day or things that I want to try out to kind of rotate some stuff so that's the plan for now i still have on my workout clothes because like i said i literally just got home hi guys so for lunch i'm having joe and the juice and this is an iced vanilla matcha latte and i get it with regular milk because i'm not like lactose intolerant or anything it is like calories but i don't really care it's really good and then i got a spicy tuna sandwich Holy fuck, I forgot to ask for no tomatoes. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Just realized. I probably would have cried. So that's what the inside looks like. I feel like they put less tuna in this one. The Joe and the Juice in New York is way better than the one here. This is the Americana location. Um, I think the... Uh, also, I cried today, so don't mind that. Um, that's why I can't show my face because I literally had a full face of makeup on. And, like, my dark circles look really bad when I cry. Um, but I'm going to try the Brentwood one, like, this week, later this week. And see if it's better because this is, like, my first time having it in California. Mmm. It tastes different here. I don't know. Anyway, that's my lunch. The month of May is coming up, which means that Mother's Day is coming up, which is also really exciting. I love my mom so much, and I'm so grateful to be able to gift her a few products from Dior Beauty. And I want to also thank Dior Beauty for sponsoring a portion of this video. I decided to choose the total capture set for her because one, it comes with a little makeup bag that she can store all of her items inside of. And this is really great for style renewal on the skin and it leaves it really plump, really hydrated, which is necessary for maturing skin. And I know she's going to love this. She loves skincare so much and she's not a huge fan of perfume because it gives her a headache. So I thought this was perfect for that. And then you get a little bag to put all your goodies in. This lip set would also be a great gift because it has a lip maximizer in there. A lip balm and also a mini lip cream these are great for on the go quick to throw in your purse if you need them and they're just gorgeous on the vanity if that's where you want to leave them and with all of your dior purchases you do get samples and gift bags and little gadgets so i did receive this little 
case where I can put my jewelry or makeup in and it's so cute. And you also get little perfume samples with every order over $175. So be sure to check them out down below. I will have a link in everything for you guys. And show your mom some love for this Mother's Day season with Dior. Okay, hi guys. Get ready with me to go to dinner. And I'm not in a rush. But like for some reason I feel rushed. <laughs> um, it's, a very, it's a very uneasy feeling. Okay, I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to use my Chantecaille. This is not um, a special, by the way. This is by Graftobian, and it's for panning. Oh, wait. Actually, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I'm going in with my Chantecaille. I already primed my face. Well, I think that's... A, whoa, 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 whoa. And I took out the little, like, top thing that was on top of it. <laughs> I'm very good at descriptions, by the way. It was just annoying. Then I'm going to go in with the Say Star Glow. Star Glow? Warm Glow. This is the the darker of the two but i'm just gonna take this and put it over my face <laughs> sorry guys um okay so i don't know what to talk about but you guys wanted me to do a get ready with me because you guys said that get ready with me's are your favorites which i think is really funny i don't really watch them on tiktok but i love watching them on youtube just because they're longer and it's like more i don't know it's just nice to just have in the background but anyway look at how that is gorgeous 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 call my goddaughter baby gorgeous and every time I FaceTime with him, I'm always like, hi, baby gorgeous. And she knows it's me. I'm the only one who calls her that. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I'm not rushing. Like, I have two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Actually, no. I have to leave by, like, so. Yeah, like two hours. I have two hours. So, putting this on my under eyes to conceal. Today is Eid. And got invited to a dinner. Can you go even if you're not Muslim? I don't know. I thought you had to like be a part of the religion. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to dinner in Palos Verdes with some friends. So and it's not for eat, by the way. <laughs> it's not for that. Just to go. I'm going just to go. So I've been doing a concoction of Cover Girl in Warm Honey and Beach. Beach. How do I pronounce this? Why do I keep saying like as if I don't know? So we're gonna do the darker color at the bottom to conceal my dark circles. My dark circles used to be really bad, but I think they're getting a little bit better. Anyway, so someone wanted me to do a bags I've sold and why. Number one, we're gonna go with Givenchy and Sigona. Two structured, actually, I don't really mind the structure. I actually kind of like that bag, but I think the zipper was kind of like hard to get in and out of. The bag was hard to get in and out of because of the zipper. And it wasn't like I hated it or anything. It wasn't like horrible but i just realized i wasn't using it and also if you guys remember when i lived in malibu i did not have space for my purses or anything like really none of my clothes like where did those where did my clothes come from because i've had more than half of that the whole time i was living in malibu so i'm like where where did i put my stuff i don't know anyway i realized that i just didn't have space for it so i kind of had to get rid of some things in order to make room for more i didn't mind though because that wasn't a bag that I particularly was head over heels for. It was very structured and I didn't, I think with the way that I dressed today, would it work? Yeah, I think so. Of course it would, but nothing bad. Also, I had silver hardware. Um, that brings me to number two, Alma BB in Epi Leather with silver hardware. That was the first unboxing that I did when I moved into my home. And yeah, I didn't hate that bag but i was like fourth alma bb in my life <laughs> but i really wanted to love the alma bb and honestly i didn't really i didn't really mind it but it just wasn't i wanted the alma neo bb bag and i think Kara's has that in white she has like a cream color i really wanted the one with the gold hardware i felt like that one was just better but i did not get a chance to get that so that was also a bag that i sold also i'm just like saying the ones that i can think of off the top of my head speedy b25 i had it in dami bean my ex gave that to me so obviously i sold it and i'm using the chanel also i love this brush this is from laura mercier and this like is coming off but yeah i really really love that bag but living in downtown it wasn't really fitting my lifestyle and it was too big i think if i drove and like i had a car and i was kind of just 
going like from point A to point B, then it would be it would be fine. But it also was kind of just too big, bulky. It just didn't make sense for me to have that bag. Yeah, so that was that. And then what else did I have? Honestly, I don't remember. Oh, Neo Noe. So Neo Noe, that one was also really nice, but kind of same concept. I just felt like it was very logomania, very big, very loud. So ended up selling that one and then my foster mom bought my never full from me i gave it to her super cheap like dirt cheap so she was able to put that to use it was never full mm with the pink interior rose ballerine also the neo no it was rose poudre can you guys think of anything else oh my multi pochette i guess i did keep the mini pochette from the multi pochette but i did sell off the pochette accessoire and then also the straps and then the coin pouch from the set like just everything ended up being sold from that whole thing i actually did really like that but i think i lost my cards one too many times from putting it through the middle of bags so i kind of got irritated with that and so that one ended up going to a different home well pieces of it <laughs> what else did i sell off i really don't know was that all that i've had should i <laughs> okay let me go on my <laughs> let me go on my page and see what bags I've had. Or at least just unboxings. Sort by most viewed, I guess. Oh, I remember the Victorine wallet. My aunt actually has that. Oh, Neverfull GM. So I had that in monogram, of course. That ended up being Luna's bag to go back and forth with the kitty sitter. And then I think someone messaged me and asked me if I could sell it to them. And I did because I got it for like 11 50 and Oh no, not 11.50, like 14.50 maybe something like that. I didn't mind. I wasn't like really using it at the time anyway. Alma BB, you guys know, I always I sell off every Alma BB that I've had. Oh, this is a Pichette Matisse. I just got it just because I was able to order it online, but I didn't keep that bag. I returned it. I didn't sell it. People, I think people thought I resold it. I did not sell that bag. Pichette Accessoires, both of them. Ended up selling both of them. Was not using the mini bags. Even now, I don't really use the mini Pichette from the multi Pichette set as a mini bag because it's not really it's not really a style that i like i have worn it but with the i think with the pearl pearl strap on it i think that's cute just like handheld yeah i don't really wear it as like just like a crossbody as is i really like this shade of the rare beauty blush this is my first one that i purchased it's called worth and i actually am loving the shade it's so pretty I still have my toiletry bags. I feel like people think I sold more things than I, than I actually did, but I didn't. That's most of it. Speedy Nano, still have that. I still have my toiletry bags. I didn't really have a ton of Louis Vuitton bags. I feel like people thought I did. I mean, I guess it seemed that way because I was doing it in a boxing, but a lot of it were also SLGs, like my niece BB that I have in my lap right now. That's a Goyard unboxing. Yeah, I didn't really- those were all the bags, like, I mean, I did really like them. I think they all served a purpose at one point, but it's okay to let things go that are not fulfilling anymore. Oh, I remember I had the on-the-go. Oh, well, that's why I got the black one, yeah. Oh, bum bag. Oh my god, I almost forgot about the bum bag. I did end up selling the bum bag. It felt a little too big. Also, just the same reason, just because of, like, where I live, and just didn't feel like it was going with my style either. It kind of just felt like didn't really have a place in my collection. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush here. I forgot I had that one. I've seen they made like a different variation of it. It's cute, but like I wouldn't purchase it again. Monstery PM. Oh, I loved that little backpack. That was such a good bag. I actually loved that. I That was one that I probably regret. Like if I had any regrets. That one was definitely one that I think came out really, really nicely after it came back from Louis Vuitton. It was gone for me for like a month, which wasn't a long time. Am I missing anything? No, not really. Yeah, I think people just wanted to see a lot of my bags compared to each other and then what fits what. Oh, Palm Springs Mini. Palm Springs Mini, that one. I didn't actually sell that one. That one, they took it back because of a defect and then I ended up getting store credit for that and then that's when I got the Neo Noe, I think. Yeah, that's when I got the Neo Noe. And I got it in black at first, originally, and then my CA at the time, he was super, super nice. I decided I didn't really like the black. I really wanted the pink because that was like just my color. So I went back and got the pink. Yeah, those are pretty much all, all of the bags that I've had. There were some that I wanted that I didn't end up getting, which is fine. You can always have things on your wish list, but that's pretty much it.
those are all the bags that i've had i also had slgs that i feel like people loved but some i wasn't a huge fan of or i bought them and then someone's like oh can you sell them can you sell it to me because they really wanted it as well so i did do that a few times just because why not if i could like help somebody out people just wanted the same thing i never understood people who got upset about that but whatever that was always such like a weird time in youtube that i remember i feel like people were so upset at me for being able to obtain certain bags or certain slgs that they couldn't and they just felt like it was unfair like life is not fair i'm just kidding no it was just it was just a weird time to be honest and then people were literally sending me death threats and saying that i was lying like i've never lied about anything in regards to like that whole situation that was just super strange that's all said and done but that's all pretty much over it's just weird that people were that invested in my life like i couldn't even catch up with my life and they were also like emailing my ex that was wild a wild time for sure y'all should have dated him not me i wish whoever emailed him dated him because I really would like to thank whoever emailed him and showed him my video clips and stuff like you're a real one because my life has never been better putting on the setting powder on my face because my face is looking a little shiny I don't put too much to where it bakes but just enough to cover the shine in the areas that I need it let's see I also got asked for a wish list and honestly I just need a tote like a big tote and I don't really have anything else on my wish list because my Dior bag, oh my god, that just, I was so, so happy. Like, when I got that, I feel like that was just, like, I would, I would be happy if I, uh, actually, I just need a Goyard bag and that's pretty much it. I'll be happy because I need a tote, just like a designer tote, but that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy. I don't have anything in particular, like, on my mind, but I think if I had to say something, maybe just another mini Lady Dior. I love it so much, and I think it's just so pretty that I would love to add a black one if I could. <laughs> They're expensive, man. Like, $5,800. Like, $5,800. Holy, I can't. I can't. It's, like, so hard to, like, think about how much money that is, but... I mean, it's fine, like, if it's a bag that you've been wanting, because I have been wanting it for quite some time, but couldn't do it, like, that soon, that close together, so... Yeah, but I do really love it and just super happy to have that bag in my collection. That's like just all I wanted. Just a nice white clean bag. I feel like the lighting's kind of looking weird. Okay, I'm just going to go in with powder. I also got this Patrick Ta blush from Sephora. It's in the shade She's That Girl. I really don't like the names of these, but I think the shade is kind of pretty. I'm also like trying to see if I should exchange it for a different shade because I feel like this one might look a little too, too light maybe i don't know if it's my base or if i need to blend it out some more something's looking strange so i need to work super hard to give you guys videos but i just don't know what to post so if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations even if you guys told me on instagram please message me here or just leave it not message me here but leave it as a comment rather and just let me know what videos you guys want to see i'm gonna try to get those out and fulfilled for you guys because i just don't know what to film and i want to film vlogs but i don't do anything you guys like i feel like i just haven't been doing anything like sometimes i want to go out and i want to do stuff but then I just last minute i'll decide like no i don't want to or just like don't want to go out i really don't like but if it's for dinner i'm down but not if it's to like party or something i don't i don't like to party like that my makeup is actually so simple it's probably criminal for easy i'm grateful though i feel like for the longest time i had the most just longest routine for makeup and now i can do it so fast i mean i'm not doing it fast right now but could if i had to i think i timed myself and i was able to do my makeup in 10 minutes which is actually really good i'll go out of order sometimes i think the older that i'm getting the less i remember things <laughs> just so bad I don't really have eyeliner or anything really for my eyes, but I did have a brown one, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to use my brow pencil. Just do like a little wing. I was using a liquid brown uh, liquid liner, but I ran out. Just a little wing. doesn't have to be perfect. And then I like to put my glitter on afterwards. 
Ew, why am I so irritated right now? I told someone that the world revolves around me, like my world revolves around me because like if you think about it, your world does revolve around you. It's so funny like to see the way that people react because they're like, that's so self-absorbed, you're so selfish. You should know what you're getting into. You really should. I cannot. I've refused to go get my eyebrows done because I got them done one time. For the first time in like five minutes, no, even longer, like eight years maybe. And they got messed up. I was so mad. Oh, I need to respond to some emails actually after I'm done filming this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in the vlog actually. So now that that's done, I go straight into mascara. And as you can see, this is a little card that I've been using. But I love doing mascara, it's super easy. And my lashes are growing so fast. Yeah, actually, I do not feel like going on TV. Um, I did get a question. Someone asked me if I do the Aguso like under my eyes and I don't. I think when I drink, my eyes just get like puffy down here and then it kind of just does it on its own but I don't do it like at all. So my eyes get, I just do the... So I literally just do the... Um... Oh, what the heck? I just do the glitter. That's it. Even when I don't have the glitter, it still looks like I have it. Like my eyes still give that look okay so i do not do my lower lashes because i don't know if you guys can see that but my lower lashes are literally like here yeah here these are even longer this one goes up to here so if i put on mascara i feel like that would look actually insane and i have hair right here under my eyes that i have to get rid of so if it looks weird that's why i think it's from like the lash serum for sure it has to be i hate i honestly i only like going out to eat if it's places that i'm comfortable with and that i know but going to new places gives me anxiety so bad at least i'm ready though <laughs> on time for once that looks good i think I think if I put my hair up, that'd be really cute. Okay, I don't know. I have to figure out the hair situation, but my makeup is done. I like how it looks. I love when my blush comes out good. And it actually did, um, it actually does look good for like me being pretty frustrated with it, honestly. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I'm gonna curl my lashes in a bit, but I need to wait for them to dry. So that's my face. I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be back. Dinner was at the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills and it was the Gumina restaurant which is the restaurant that's connected to the hotel and the lilies smelled incredible you guys like I can't have lilies because of Luna cats are allergic to that flower but they were so, they smelled so good and then they had live music we got a margarita pizza for the table and then my dinner was also an eight ounce with broccolini on the side and then the cake literally looked like it was something straight out of Matilda didn't eat it all just had like a bite or two delicious meal Oh,